Morning, it's Christine here again. This time I'm going to do some exercises for you for people who are in a chair. Um, so all you need is a stable chair, preferably one with arms, but if you can't get one, just one that's not going to rub, wobble around too much. Okay, and if you can, sit as far back in the chair as you can so your back is placed against the back of the chair. Okay, so we're going to do five exercises as we did before, about 30 seconds each. And if you feel strong enough at the end of the set of exercises, see if you can repeat them once, possibly twice. Okay, so we're going to start with our heads. So sit, as I say, back in the chair and just put your head slightly over to the side, back to the middle, back to the side. And do this as slowly as you feel comfortable with. So a little bit further this time, looking over your shoulder, back to the middle, over your shoulder again. Okay, this time you're going to try and get your ear as close to your shoulder as you can. And do this as slowly as you're comfortable with. Okay, and this time as you go down, you're a little bit more of a stretch. Put the opposite hand down. Feel the stretch increase here. Come back again. Slowly down. Put that hand out. And if you want an even stronger stretch, you can gently lace, place your hand on the top of your head and place down there. Okay? Second exercise, we're going to use our shoulders. So just gently rolling your shoulders forward and then back. Forward and then back, okay, and then we're going to go the other way, shoulders forward and round, forward and round, okay, and then we're going to squeeze your shoulders up to your ears and drop them, squeeze them up to your ears and drop them, do this five times, squeeze up and drop, last time, and just give them a little shake around. Okay, that's our second set of exercises. So now we're going to try our arms. So we're going to touch our knees, our shoulders, and then up. Okay, shoulders, knees, shoulders, up. Now this time round, we're going to go out to the side. So shoulders, out, shoulders, down, shoulders, up, shoulders, down, shoulders, out, shoulders down, shoulders up, shoulders down, shoulders out, shoulders down, shoulders up, shoulders down. Okay, and we're going to keep doing that, remember, for 30 seconds. So keep going until you've done your 30. Okay, once you've done that, what I need you now to do is to put your foot out if you can on the floor, get your heel down to the floor and your toe pointing up and just move slightly forward so you start to feel the stretch down the back of your hamstring here. Okay, keep your head up, stretch that down as far as you can and when you've held that one for about 15 seconds, you put your lower foot down, slowly come in other foot out. Heel on the floor, toes pointing upwards and just gently press down, keeping your head up. Make sure you don't lose your balance. Keep nice and balanced. Feel the stretch down your hamstring and hold that nice and slowly for about 10, 15 seconds. And then the last one to do is just to turn your wrists. Your wrists sometimes can get nice and uh, can get sore. Just keep your wrists nice and flexible. And then just see if you can keep your fingers. Two, three, four. Back again. Keep each one of them nice and stretched as you can. Finish off by turning our wrists round and back the other way. And you can do the same thing 
with your ankles. So we're going to turn your ankles round. One first. Oh, nice click there for my ankles. Okay. And then the other. And then if you're happy with that, we're going to start all over again. We're going to start again with our necks, go through to our shoulders, we're going to do our arms, we're going to do our hamstring stretch, and then we're going to loosen up our wrists our fingers and our ankles. Okay, good luck, take care and look after yourself.